So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. This Power BI video is going to be a little bit special and is hopefully going to save you from going mad, okay? It happened last week three times that I really thought I was losing my mind or there was an issue with Power BI and it turned out to be like 50-50. So I'll show you. So you don't have to go mad too, okay? Don't click away. You need to know this. So when it happens, you know what's going on. Let's get started. Okay, guys, the first issue is regarding what if parameters. And it might be that everybody knows this, or I knew at some point, I don't know. Whatever it is, let me show you. If you click on new parameter, you know, to do like what if scenarios, uh, you can say, okay, minimum zero, maximum 20, increments one in one, you add it to the thing. It will create a slicer for you and a parameter. Beautiful, you can see it here. And then you can see the parameter in there. Let's put it as a card. Gorgeous, look. No problem. What is the issue now? <laughs> okay, look at this. If in the parameter we're going to modify this, and I want to have generate a series between zero and twenty thousand or two hundred thousand, it doesn't matter by one. Okay, so you want one, two, three, four from zero to two hundred thousand. Okay, now we do the same. We start moving this thing around. It seems to work, but now I want a specific value. I want to have 15,000. Do you see what it says here? It says 40. Here, because it's rounding, you don't see it. Let me change that. 14,900. I, I want 15,000. I mean, sometimes when you're doing scenario calculations, you want this specific number. It won't give it to you. It will just speak random. You see, it is sampling the data. So the what if parameter, if your grouping is too small, it will sample it. If, for example, I say by 10,000, then we can go again by incrementals. It's working perfectly. But otherwise, it would just pick a random number and give it to you. It's like, oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> that is a madness. I suppose that there is a idea to vote for this not to sample, which would be quite useful, but for now it is what it is. Now, issue number two with this. Okay, you have the table with the parameters. In case you have never seen it before, look at this. It creates a table with parameters, with the values, and then you, you have a uh, measure that gets created also that is a selected value. Now. So you go in here and said, okay, I'm going to use the parameter in a new page. So you go in there and it's black. So, uh, why is it black? Why is it black? It shouldn't be black. There is a value, right? But the value is chosen by the slicer. So what you need to do in order to pass the value to this page, you go to view, you go to sync slicers, you select your slicer, and then you say, okay, I don't want to see it, or maybe you want to see it, I don't know, but I definitely want them to sync. So if you sync them, you see here that suddenly appears the value, but you can say, okay, I just want to have it in one place. I don't want to see it. Get rid of it. Oh, it, it went away. Okay, let's do it again. I just want to see the value. I don't want to see the parameter, and then it will sync. So you cannot use the value of the what if parameters between pages, even if a table has been created, because you have to still select the value. And if you don't sync the slicers, they won't come across. So that was easy to find, but still, <laughs> for some reason, I was expecting a value. I don't know why. Now, the next one that, that really puzzled me for too long, to be honest. And I knew this, that's the worst thing of all. But let me show you. Okay, so let me show you enter data and I'm going to write Kerbal, 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 and then I'm going to write Kerbal. And I needed to have these values in a slicer, one as uppercase and another one as lowercase. So I waited for it to load, come on. 
Go along. So I put it in as a slicer. You'll see it here. And only one mile here. I'm like, what's going on? Oh my God. Is it? I had a big transformation, a big, you know, query. So I thought maybe got faltered some way along the way. So I went back and then it was in part query. But when, as soon as I loaded, the thing was gone. Now, let me show you. If we go to, everything got transformed into uppercase. And I actually have done a video about it. So that's what annoyed me the most after, you know, after I understood what was going on. Power Core is case sensitive. Power BI or DAX engine is not. So it transforms everything to uppercase. And I, what? <laughs> I did have a video about it. This is crazy. Let me show you. You obviously know the answer to this, but because I was so puzzled, I have to test it. I tested everything after this point. And I said, okay, let's go in here. And then you know probably by now that, or you have an intuition about it, that if you put everything in lowercase, it will not put it into uppercase. It won't just, it just won't do it. So you're going to see it in a second. It respects the casing. So it is when you have a combination of the same word with uppercase and lowercase, which again, I was thinking about everything like, oh my God, okay. So what happens if I do the opposite? What happens if I, let me show you, if I put first the proper casing, so if I go and write Kerbal, 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 and then uppercase, will it transform it to what? To uppercase or to lowercase? We'll see. That's how I spent it. Like, I needed to know. It was just like, oh my God, I have to know what's going on in case it happens again. Lowercase. So what is it? Is it that it's doing 50-50? It's like if the majority of is... So I was thinking, okay, what happens if I do 50-50? <laughs> Which one will it pick? So if I do these ones first and then 50-50 these, or I do 50-50 these and 50-50 these, what is it going to convert it to? And I'm, I'm guessing that it's just the first one that it picks. So if it is uppercase first, the first one that it finds, it converts everything to uppercase. If it is the first one it finds is proper case, everything will be proper case or lower case. And it seems that that's what it's doing, right? So now you know. I'm sorry that I made this video long, but it, it was it just puzzled me. And, and it's good to know how it behaves in order for you to make it do whatever you want it to do. So, okay, three things that you need to watch for when working with Power BI. Do you have any things that just threw you off? Just let me know in the comment box. I want to know. I want to know so I don't go mad. And I'll see you again on Friday with a new tax Fridays, obviously. So I'll see you again soon. Bye.